A good weather. You can't say there's nothing to do with it in Dallas Fort Worth this weekend. There is a lot going on, especially when we focus in on the world of music and sports. But whether it's the NCAA Women's Final Four in Dallas or the Taylor Swift concerts in Arlington, it will cost you a pretty penny if you want to be a part of it all. We do have JD Miles tonight, live right outside AT&T Stadium, where tens of thousands of Swifties have gathered for one of several big events over the weekend. JD. Doug Taylor Swift's highly anticipated, long awaited concert tour finally comes to Texas AT&T Stadium this weekend. It coincides with one of the biggest sporting events of the year this weekend in Dallas, but getting tickets to either isn't easy or cheap. For Lily Diaz, March 31st might as well be Christmas Day. I got it as a Christmas present in December. Her tickets to the Taylor Swift concert were courtesy of her mom, and today they made the drive from Breckenridge to AT&T Stadium, along with thousands of other fans for the first of three shows. I've been like so excited about it and everything. Even concert goers in their mid 20s say they grew up to Taylor Swift in their ears. Taylor oh, raised us. Raise us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really. raised Especially us. us. Yeah. It's been five years since the superstars' last tour. We found fans who came from as far as a thousand miles away. Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Even though it will eventually head to their hometown. Is she not going to either Chicago or Cincy or Cleveland? Oh, she's coming. She's, she's coming, coming to Cincinnati, going. but Cincinnati. we want this one. Yeah. Really, why? Because um, this is where she filmed her reputation to her last time. And, you know, we just have to be in the spot where it all went down. Yeah. And I love Dallas. Everything's bigger in Texas, and it will surely be bigger tonight. <laughs> the cheapest tickets close to showtime were more than $300 a seat. Some paid a lot more. And I'm very excited we're going to be on the floor. I think probably around 500 per ticket, uh, which is less than I've heard some people say. So, you know, it's fine. It's worth it. Over at the American Airlines Center, college basketball fans from across the country watched LSU and South Carolina face off in the first game of the NCAA Women's Final Four. So we've been here just 12 hours and I feel like everyone has made us feel like family. Every building we walk into, people welcome us, people ask us how our experience is. Hmm. And of course, that's good to hear because visitors should feel welcome here in North Texas. Now, tomorrow, the Rangers play an afternoon game that will end right around the time that the concert is starting here for the second show. So if you don't have tickets to either, you may want to stay away from here.